Hi, welcome back to Leeds Code. In this video, we discuss Leeds Code problem three thousand four hundred twenty-eight. Maximum and minimum sums of at most size k subsequences. So, you are given an integer array names and a positive integer k. Return the sum of the maximum and the minimum elements of all subsequences of names with at most k elements. So, the subsequence length can be maximum length can be k, right? Uh, it can be one, it can be two, but it up to k. So a non-empty subsequence is an array that can be derived from another array by deleting some or no elements without changing the order of the remaining elements. So we all know about the subsequence. So since the answer may be very large, the large uh, it return it modulo ten to the power nine plus seven. So for this example one, the input uh, array is one two three, and k is equal to two. So length can be subsequence length can be k is equal to one, k is equal to two, maximum two, right? Now, what is the subsequence that is possible with k is equal to one? Length is one. This is possible one, two, three. Uh, for subsequence that is length is two, that is one, two, one, three, two, three. Okay. So this is the maximum possible. Uh, we have generated all the possible subsequences. Now, what is the maximum value? Generate maximum and minimum. What is the maximum value here? One. What is the minimum value? One. What is the maximum value here? Two. Minimum value also two. Here also maximum and minimum both are same three because the length is one. Now, for this subsequence one and two, what is the minimum value? Minimum value is one. What is the maximum? What is the maximum value? Two. This is actually maximum column for maximum. So this will be two. Minimum column is. Um, one minimum value is one. Now for one and three, what is the maximum value? Three. What is the minimum value? One. For two and three, what is the maximum value? Three. What is the minimum value? Two. Now we have to return the sum of all of these. So sum of the maximum value will be what? Sum of the maximum value. It will be one plus two plus three, and from this row, from this column, it will be two plus three plus three. Two plus three plus three. So total is this is six. Two eight, eight plus three eleven, eleven plus three fourteen, right? Now what is the sum of the minimum? So this will be one plus two plus three. This will be six. From this, this is two plus two. This is actually uh, six plus two, eight plus ten. So total will be fourteen plus ten. So this is twenty four. You can here actually see that output is twenty four. Right. Now what is the brute force approach? How can actually uh, We are solving this problem. First of all, generate all the possible uh, subsequences. Generate all possible subsequences of length k. Right. Now, how many times this uh, function will call? This will call k times b of k times. Because length can be start from one, length will be one, then two, then three, then k maximum k, right? So this time study now what is the approach to generate all possible subsequences? So suppose we have an array, so this is one, two, three, four. So we all know that how actually generate subsequence. So each number have two option. It will be either part of the current subsequence or it will be not. So each uh, element have two options. So if there are actually uh, n elements, so it, There are total how many subsequences are possible two to the power n? So you can see that total times will be k into two to the power n. So this is really very huge. So it will give us the T L. Right? This brute force approach is clear. If you have any doubt, you can comment on that. If you are not uh, clear till now, now how can you optimize this? So let's see some observation. Suppose we actually have two, three, one, uh, four. This is our input array. Now we know that k is equal to two, right? Now, if I think in this way that how many, what is the total sum this can, this one can contribute into the total sum? How, how much? So either it will be part of the maximum element or it will be part of the minimum element in the subsequence. So how many actually um, subsequence are possible that actually maximum element is one? How many? So how can you generate this? So if I sort this, suppose uh, you know, this is our 
fixing that this is our maximum element one. Now, if this is a maximum element, then all of the element that actually smaller than that that will be the part of the our subsequence, right? Then it will be the our maximum element in the maximum element in the current subsequence. So, if I want to generate length is equal to suppose one. So, do I need any element smaller than one? No, because if I uh, fix this, uh, if I take this uh, one as an uh, one element in the current subsequence, then this I have already consumed. It will generate length is equal to one subsequence. Okay, so this is okay. Now I want to generate length is equal to two, right? Or actually, this is the maximum element. So I have to choose one element still because I have already choose one element. But I have to choose two element total. So I need one element still. So I have to choose that element from this smaller side. Smaller side means the smaller element that is actually one less than one. So is there any element that actually smaller than one? No. So we can't generate this. So this is not possible. So this can contribute only once as a maximum element, right? For as a maximum. Now I want to see that how many actually subsequent for that actually contribute one as a minimum element. So what will be happen that time? So one will start, or this will be actually the. First element that will be smaller, smallest number in the subsequent. So what I have to choose? Now I have to generate length is equal to one. So I do not need I do not need any other element because if I uh, place this in the current subsequent, then our length will be one will be fulfilled. So this will be con contribute only once. Now I want to generate suppose subsequent length of two, and this is our smallest element one. So uh, I have to still choose one element. Right to generate length uh, length two subsequent subsequent length of two. Now, where I have to choose what is the third place for this uh, one element? I have to choose that from the this uh, so number that is greater than one. So I can choose what I can choose one two or one three or one four. Right. So I can choose two either uh, either two either three or either four. So what I have to choose? Uh, how many actually ways actually I can choose this? So I actually have three element that actually greater than one, and I have to choose only one element. Now you can see that three C one got it. How actually getting here combination here? How many actually number is greater than one? Three, and how many actually remaining number I have to still choose? I have to choose still one element. Then actually we can generate the subsequent length of two. So how many actually actually I can choose this? How many subsequent is possible? That is starting at one three C one got you are getting the point. I actually uh, from this observation we are actually coming to this point that we will choose that how many number are possible at the right uh, greater than this any number current element and how many number will we still need so in this actually how 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 many three factorial by one factorial by two factorial ultimately three you can see that three subsequent are possible right that is starting with one and other element is greater than one or actually one is contributing as a minimum element. So total, how many actually the total combination, uh, total contribution will be three, three subsequences, and uh, this number value is one. So total contribution will be three, and for length one, it contributed as one. Only one combination is possible. That's why this will contribute one. So this is the number of subsequences, and this is the value. So this is the number of subsequent is a three, and the value of this current number is uh, one. So this will actually part of the three subsequent. So that's the total value will be three into one, and for length is equal to one, it is only creating only one subsequent is possible. And what is the value of this one? So this will contribute to one. Got it? This is one. It is a part of the minimum. Similar for maximum, I will calculate this. How many number is actually smaller than this? In this, I got it. So what I have to do actually? First of all, sort the array. Then actually we can actually uh, say that how many number is actually smaller than suppose currently I am here. I am I want to know that how many actually subsequent are possible that actually it is contributed as a max or minimum. So I want to know that this is a maximum. So how many actually subsequent are possible? So I will know then actually I will say that how many actually number smaller than this. Then I will choose this that whatever actually suppose there actually x number is present and here actually y. So And I want to generate k sub length k subsequent length of k. So I have already taken one element. This now, what I have to still I have to choose I have to choose still k minus one element. 
and what this how many numbers are element that is actually smaller than the current number x so how many actually subsets are possible x c k minus 1 similarly this is for maximum now i have to know the minimum contribution minimum subset are possible that is starting with this number so how many numbers is greater than this uh, current number y and how many uh, number actually i have to choose i have to choose k minus 1 right so this is a total number of subsets are possible that is starting with this current number as a max, uh, minimum so total contribution will be what this is the suppose value is ncr is suppose uh, n1 and this is suppose n2 so total contribution will be n1 into value and here contribution will be n2 into value got it so this will be added into the current answer what is got the logic so here should not uh, sharing how actually i calculate the ncr but this is a famous problem you will first solve this the how actually you can generate all the possible ncr combination value ncr permutation combination that then i will just in, use that uh, code here to calculate the ncr value now got this will code so what i have to do first of all i have already mentioned how i have to need the sort 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 the array then actually you can say the how many numbers will be smaller than this how many numbers greater than this right now this helper function will actually generate all the uh, ncr value i will just use this in the code okay just here actually you can check that factorial uh, factorial uh, just helper function is just calculating the storing the whatever the value of um, n factorial and r factorial n minus r factorial okay this is ncr so this i am storing in another vector, uh, vector and this divide numerator i have stored in the another vector uh, another vector so i'll just actually divide this i'll just multiply this what i have already calculated calculated this please solve the first how actually we can calculate the ncr any ncr okay now we have to return the answer variable initial answer is zero and what actually i do i have to first choose the current element so i am just iterating each element i choose zero i less than n i plus plus now i am checking that how many actually what is the length of the survey i want to generate it can be one it can be up to k so that's why i am starting the survey length as one and it can go up to k right now what i will doing i have to do that how many actually it can be part of the subsequent that is the maximum current element is the maximum in the current subsequent how many subsequent that is the maximum and minimum so this actually contribute as the how many numbers are element that actually this actually the minimum minimum means the i am just uh, code actually not uh, variable is not clear this actually the maximum minimum means how i will check that how many subsequent possible that is uh, is contributing as a maximum so how many actually uh, possible are there so i have already explained here actually how many number will be present at the left side so if the current index is i how many numbers are uh, smaller than this that will be i i i number actually smaller than the current number suppose i is equal to 0 then how many number is smaller than this zero number got it suppose i am i is equal to 1 then how many number is smaller than this one right got it so so to calculate the how many number actually the how many subsequent possible that is actually it contributing as a maximum so i number is present at the smaller number i i element and i have to choose k minus 1 right i see k minus 1 so this is contributing as a maximum and how many number is present at the smaller greater than this current number so total number is n total number is n and how many number actually uh, this is how many number actually is still this is i plus 1 so how many number is greater than this so y will be n minus i plus 1 total number is n and i have actually seen i plus 1 that actually uh, greater than or equal to current number uh, smaller than or equal to current number so remaining number will be the greater than this current number so this will be n minus i plus 1 suppose i am current, currently i is equal to 1 so how many number actually uh, smaller than or equal to current number that will be 2 i plus 1 i is equal to 1 another number is i is equal to 0 so two number is actually smaller than or equal to the current number and how many if suppose the length of the array is 5 so how many number actually greater than the current number this will be 5 minus 2 3 got it so then actually what i'll do i will do n minus i plus 1 c k minus 1 got it i have to take two things another this is for maximum 
uh, and this is for how many actually such number that is contributing as a minimum so i'll check that uh, is i greater than equals to G, um, k minus k k minus 1 means i have still that number of actually i have to do that number of actually element in the smaller in the left side or right side both side so that's why i'm checking that is there uh, can actually uh, create or breed such number possible so i'll check that how many numbers i have and how many numbers it will need so that should be actually greater than equals to the how many numbers that should be greater than equals to the current number that actually need so if actually i have then actually i will do what i'll just generate how many actually uh, subsequent possible ncr of i of k k k minus 1 or length minus 1 because i have already why k k minus 1 because i have already consumed one number and ultimately whatever the number is subsequent possible i am multiplying with the nums of y because i have to take the total value so suppose 10 subsequent are possible and the current value of the current number is suppose 5 so this will contribute in the total sub as a 50 right 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 10 times so that's i'm just multiplying with the 10 or the number such as possible what it i'm taking the module value and similarly for the right side when it is contributing the minimum value as a minimum element so what will check whatever the number is present in the right side that is enough for not or greater than the number of value present in the right side it should be greater than equal to the number actually we need k k minus 1 because i have already uh, taken one element so i need actually k k minus 1 element or length minus 1 and similarly similarly actually i uh, calculate the first ncr what are the number of subsequent possible from that um, ncr and i'll just multiply the same thing nums of i when it contributing as a minimum element in the subsequent got it and ultimately i will add this into the our answer variable maximum minimum both okay and i'll write the answer so i have shared the code and if you want uh, in video to how to actually generate ncr then actually uh, you can comment i will share i will make a video on that if you like the expression please like the video if you not yet subscribe please subscribe the channel and if you have any suggestion you can comment on that thank you